ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, in their ever-vigilant pursuit of outlaws and evildoers, have been riding for days to reach this ranch belonging to the lovely young Ellen Carter. They have learned that Ellen, who trusts no strangers, has been fighting desperately but futilely to save her property from the land-hungry hands of unscrupulous, violent men. If you're more of Jeff Grant's hoodle and come to frighten me off my ranch, you'll find I don't frighten easily. We don't like Jeff Grant any better than you do, Miss Carter. But you're not one of Grant's men. Why are you wearing that mask? I wore this same mask when I helped your father clean up the old Potter gang. He may have told you about me. Have you ever seen one of these before? A silver bullet. Then you must be the Lone Ranger. Now will you trust Tano and me to help you? How did you find out I was in trouble? Bad news always travel fast. We ran into a couple of your ranch hands. Grant's men had run them off. He's been doing that for months now. Trying to force me into selling out by making it impossible for me to work my ranch. If he thinks that just because I'm a woman, he can bully me into doing anything he wants, he's very much mistaken. Why does Grant want your property? To build a stagecoach road across it. I offered him a right of way, but he insists on all or nothing. That not make sense. You're right, Tonto. Grant must want this ranch for something a lot more important than a stagecoach road, or he'd be willing to compromise. How many hands are working for you now, Miss Carter? Just Bill Morgan, my foreman. He, he stuck with me through all my trouble. Why not me work here, Kimisali? No, Tonto. I think it's more important that you try to get a job at Grant's ranch. That way we'll have some idea what he plans to do. Huh. Me try to get a job somehow. Tonto, I'll contact you as soon as I've rounded up a couple of ranch hands to work for Miss Carter. Me be waiting. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why, every man in the county knows what Grant's roughnecks would do to him if he worked for me. Not every man. I'll send you two who won't be afraid of Grant or anybody else. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Pete Lacey and Pedro Martinez? Are you ready? See. Si. Go. Caramba, you missed me by two whole inches. You couldn't hit me if I had donkey's ears. We try again. This time I make it really tough. You think that's shooting? Watch this. Madre mia, I don't like this. Have you ever uh, missed a cigarette and hit a man? Only the last two times. Fellow wouldn't hurt much. Oh, Silver. There's the two men I'm looking for. One Silver. Put up those guns, men. Only fools risk their lives without reason. That burning and I just had it lined up perfect. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to, masked man? To a couple of men who once helped me capture some outlaws in Cactus County. Have you forgotten? Caramba, now I'm knowing you. This masked man is our friend, the Lone Ranger. Don't you two ever get tired of fighting each other? Oh, it's... It's nothing, senor. We just have the little dude to pass the time of day. Don't you have anything better to do? You're two of the best bronc riders in the territory. Tell me, why aren't you working? Work? No, thanks, friend. Work don't agree with us. That's right, amigo. We're two of the laziest hombres in the whole county. Well, that's too bad. The Carter Ranch could use a couple of husky men like you. Why us? There's plenty of good hands in these parts. Not anymore. Jeff Grant and his roughnecks have run them off. He's trying to force Miss Ellen Carter into selling out to him. Miss Ellen? Why didn't you say so before? Uh, this senorita, is she pretty? You'll have to decide that for yourself. 
We know it. Pedro Martinez has never failed to help the beautiful senorita in distress. You go on ahead to her ranch. I'll meet you there later. I ride like the wind. You'll have to ride faster than that if you want to beat me, you beautiful girl. <laughs> We're not really going through with this thing, are we? Work? Pedro Martinez de Salvador and Ruñega have given his promise. Well, but supposing she's one of them strong-minded, hatchet-faced females. Well, in that case, Pedro Martinez de Salvador and Ruñega will break his promise. We'd like a job. Si, senorita, we would like a job. Oh, you must be the two men the Lone Ranger told me about. Si, senorita, my friend Pete Lacey, he's the world's best pistol shot. And I, Pedro Martinez de Salvado y Ruñega, can throw the whip better than I can throw the ball. Bill, would you come here a minute, please? Bill, here are two men who actually want to work for me. This is Bill Morgan, my foreman. How are you? I sure hope you two fellas don't scare easily. If Jeff Grant hears you're working for us, he'll send some of his gang over here to rough you up. Pedro Martinez is afraid of nobody. And my friend, Pete Lacey, is afraid of nobody but Pedro. That's a lie, you lazy, honorary polecat. I can outdo you any day. Take it easy, boys. You're both hired, lazy or not. Drop your blanket rolls in the bunkhouse, and I'll be with you in five minutes. Si, senor. It will be a great pleasure to work for the beautiful senorita. Likewise. Ay, that Michelle. Could you not see the love light in her eyes for Pedro Martinez? That was me she was looking at, you spit pearl baboon. If this Jeff Grant tries to hurt her, first I cut his throat, then I shoot his heart out, and then I kill him. Caramba, senor. You're even better than I am, and that is impossible. This may come in handy, boys. Donna was working as cook's helper at Grant's ranch. He warned me we can expect a visit from Grant's men at any time now. Good. I've been kind of watching for him to come. Ah, uh, you've been watching the beautiful Miss Ellen. And all the time is for me, she sighs. Wait a minute. Riders are coming. Yeah, they're Grant's men, all right. Good. We gave them a welcome they do not expect. You're trespassing on private property. What do you want? That Carter female must be so hard up for help she had to hire a masked man to work for her. <laughs> we want you to vamoose, that's what we want. Vamoose? Mister, we like it here. It ain't healthy to like it here. Now, do you want to go peaceful? Or shall we show you just how unhealthy it is? Pedro Martinez have never felt in better health. You're the ones who are going to vamoose. That masked hombre talks big. Let's get him, boys. <laughs> Likely to try something a lot more drastic. I'll see you later. 
So the four of you, Hefty, weren't even a match for two lazy drifters and some hombre wearing a mask. I told you, Mr. Grant, they used whips and guns. You had guns too, didn't you? I've had enough fooling around. I want that property before Ellen Carter finds out there's gold on it. She's a stubborn female, boss. Why don't you give up and start digging the vein you found on your own property? When the biggest part extends across into the Carter Ranch? No, thanks. If you won't be sensible, I'll just have to get a ranch another way. A sure way. Get out of here, engine. You're supposed to be helping the cook, can't you see? We're talking business. What do you mean, a sure way, boss? She said she'd never sell to you as long as she lives. Then we'll just have to fix it so she doesn't live long. What did you find out, Tato? Plenty, Kimasabi. Gold on Carter Ranch. So that's why Grant wants it. Then plan something heap bad. Send me out of room so we can't hear. Come on. There's a window open over there. I tell you, boss, I don't like it. Killing a woman. I don't care what you like or don't like. It's the only way. Besides, it won't be murder, it'll be an accident. An unfortunate accident. Once she's out of the way, I'll be able to buy the place for a song. There's not another ranch in the county with nerve enough to bid against me. But what if somebody gets suspicious? Accidents like that don't happen all by themselves. If anybody gets blamed, it'll be those two worthless drifters, Pete and Pedro. They won't be able to defend themselves because they'll be dead too. Hold it. Breach. No tricks. What's the matter? Looks like this engine was cooking up more than food, boss. This the Aubrey from the Carter Ranch? Yeah. He and the engine sure heard an earful. That's one earful they're going to wish they hadn't heard. Take him down to the barn. What are you going to do with them, boss? If they spill what they just heard... Don't worry. They won't get a chance. We'll take them with us to the Carter place. Nice thing about a fire, it burns up all the evidence, including dead bodies. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, in their efforts to help Ellen Carter save her ranch, have been captured by ruthless Jeff Grant and his men. Make it good and tight. I'd hate to lose such nice kindling wood. We found their horses, boss. The big silver one was in that clump of trees. Good. Let's get going. You're a fool, Grant, if you think you can get away with this. You're the fool, masked man. I don't make plans that won't work. Get them on their horses. to help Ellen Carter. She has other friends, too. Who? Oh, Bill Morgan? It'll be one against five. Aren't you forgetting those two new hands she hired? Pete and Pedro? <laughs> those two show-offs? Yeah, I know all about them, and they don't worry me a bit. We'll take care of Pete and Pedro just like we're going to take care of you. Come on. Senorita Ellen, when she sees this, no longer can she resist Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez, that big windbag. I reckon this will show Miss Ellen who's the man for her. I'll put it over her head like this. Then I'll crush her in my arms like this. Chance a bit lazy against me. And you tell a big lie. And you said you'd be tending the stock. That's a bigger lie. What a beautiful senorita, eh? The minute my back is turned, you're making love behind my front, eh? I suppose you're gonna wear that over your head. What's the matter with you, boys? Don't you two ever stop squabbling? Say, those are right pretty looking doodads. What you gonna do with them? Didn't you ever see a wedding present before? Gee, we've decided it's time for Miss Ellen to get married. Say, that's a fine idea. Well, good luck, boys. You see, 
Just like I'm telling you. She's eating her heart out for Pedro Martinez. If she's in love with anybody, it's me. We let her make the choose. Reach. Stick him in the old storehouse with the masked hombre and the engine. Looks like just the right place for our little accident to happen. Come on, boys. Oh, Pete and Pedro. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be your trouble? We got kind of a problem, ma'am. Si, senorita. We are both in love. Well, I think that's wonderful. Who are the lucky girls? But that is the problem, senorita. The lucky girls is only one. And I am for she. Dad read it. You said you'd let her choose. Oh, well, that's very flattering, boys, but you see... Don't anybody move. Just what is this, Mr. Grant? It's a funeral, Miss Carter. Your funeral. Caramba! At a time like this, my back is where my front should be. If this is another one of your attempts to frighten me into selling out, it won't work. And if you harm any of my friends, I'll have the law on you. That'll be kind of hard to do, Miss Carter, if you and your friends are all dead. I'm sure glad you never bothered to tear down this old storehouse, Miss Carter. Makes a dandy coffin. Strong enough to hold you in and dry enough to burn like tinder. Okay, men. Get the fire ready. You should have sold when I asked you to, Miss Carter. Now it's too late. You're going to have a hard time explaining this fire to the sheriff, Grant. I don't think so. How can you prove who started the fire if all the witnesses are dead? All ready, boss. Okay, let it go. Well, be cool. Good work, boys. Won't be long now. Come on, we don't want to be seen here. We we'll hide out at the ranch house till it's over. And if anybody comes along and tries to put out that fire, we'll take care of them, too. and we get you out somehow. You did? You just got her in here. Turn her backs on them polecats of grants. It's no use, Kimasabi. Knots too tight. Need knife. Right. We've got to do something. The window. Broken glass good knife. But window too high. Yes, fortunately. Got to hop over to the door. We may be able to force it open. Oh, 
rock a bye band and so oh. the rooftop. When the rope pulls, it will go clap. When the rope slips, it will land on their feet. Oh. The sun will come down. Oh. There's no one beat. Oh. <laughs> Miss Carter, we've got them tied up in the barn. Pete and Pedro are going for the sheriff. You won't have any more trouble with Grant or his men. Oh, that's fine. And I can hardly believe what you told me about the gold. Now Bill and I will really be able to make a success of the ranch. Don't you think we ought to get married first? Marry? You mean all the time she have been in love with he? I'm afraid so, Pedro. But we want you both to be best man at our wedding. There's only one best man, and that is Pedro Martinez de Solvado y Runiega. Consone it, that's a lie. Pete Lays is a better man than Pedro Martinez ever was. You men made insult. Come, we fight a duel. And after we kill each other, we go for the chair. <laughs> They're a great pair, Miss Carter. Come on, Tano. We have more work to do. Adios. Bye. Bye. There goes an even greater pair. Just think, Bill, we might have lost everything if it weren't for the Lone Ranger. Oh! 